Rolling. Hey, Clint. How are you, man? Good. Uh, straw man. Straw man. It's a big part of your work. It is. It's the title or the subtitle or the main title of my book, yes. And it is over a thousand pages so far. So, it's... Uh, <laughs> Did yes. you see his face when he said that? Um, I can't I wouldn't myself. expect anything less. Yeah, I know. It's, it's a reference book, so it's going to be indexed, and it's going to be all these legal words, all explained, and it's pretty incredible, actually. Clint Richardson, ladies and gentlemen, he's one of the speakers, of course, at the Free Your Mind conference, and he does his broadcast right before mine, Monday through Friday. Um, Clint is an author, document, documentary filmmaker, activist, researcher, all that Jazz, <laughs> um, and um, you are somebody bringing forth some information that a lot of people have not really heard about. I mean, a lot of people take for granted some of the things that you present. You know, getting behind the true meaning of things, if you will. Uh, give us a little sneak peek of Clint Richardson Free Your Mind Conference 2015. <sighs> You start your talk off, from what I understand, with the four little words. You're, really, you're going you're gonna to ruin my... Well, life. I mean, they're, they're going to see this after certain, the fact. A certain four-letter word that can be used in literally hundreds of different ways. The okay. problem is, when you just put it up there like that, it doesn't really mean anything because it hasn't been predefined, right? So you're going to predefine <clears> it. So you can be offended, you can laugh, you can have any kind of reaction to it you want, and yet it means absolutely nothing. It's just a word, right? It hasn't been defined. Right. So some people might walk out, they'll cover their children's eyes, they'll, they'll laugh nervously and they'll have reactions, but uh, nobody really knows what the hell I'm saying. And that's the point, because all words have to define, be defined, and they have to define something. And fine <laughs> is like a, a coin, you know. As you, in you, you measure, fine, right, right. right. So you measure the coin by its fineness. Well, if you define something... Take it you, away. <clears throat> right. So you... Uh, the notion of that word, in other words, really, it, it means nothing until I actually assign it to something. And so, when I say Bob Tuscan, I've just said a word. A four-letter word, mind you. A, a noun, more right. importantly. Noun means name. Right? Okay. So, person, place, thing, everything has a name. Uh -huh. And so, that's how you bring it into the legal realm, and you rule it, you control it. If there were no words, there'd be no control. The only thing that's controlled is the legal name of everything. The law doesn't apply to you, it only applies to Bob Tuscan, the person, the straw man. See, the problem is you're, you're operating in, that's not really what I'm going to talk about, but you're operating in a, in a, in a fiction. You're, you're operating in a corporation. You're your your <laughs> your Christian name and your uh, your corporate surname are combined together. Your first name, your given name, and your surname combined together. They're incorporated, and that makes you a an incorporation of the state. And so you're acting as this little guy. You're acting as Bob Tuscan instead of what do we say? I am that I am, right? Right. So everything you do is according to words, the law, right? The law doesn't apply to you, it only applies to Bob Tuscan. But most people assume that those things are Most people the same. assume that they are the word or the name. Making an asset of you and me. Right, so what I'm going to be defining tomorrow is the terms like the word free. Nobody actually knows what free means. You know what free means? Well, I, I have my understanding of the word free. It means to be without. What if I were to tell you that your opinion means shit because you're acting as Bob Tuscan? Uh-oh. Mm. Well, that, that's not a stretch considering I'm Bob Tuscan, but See, I mean, big, it's a different story. But That big fuck up there. It, it, oh, I'm sorry, the big four-letter word. Easy, that's, that's so, my mother you were just talking about there. That is so usable for so many different purposes, right? whether it's a noun, a verb, an adjective. Well... Yeah, if you assign it to something, then it suddenly has meaning. Then you can get offended, then you can do all that. <clears throat> so as soon as you're assigned to a name, a, a noun, mm -hmm. then uh, all of a sudden, for you to use that noun, because it's a letters patent, it's copyrighted by the state, they own it, <clears throat> you have to follow their rules, 
their words, their terms of art, it's another word I'm going to define, artifice, artificial, and uh, so the word free has to be defined by them. Another word I'm going to cover is voluntary. See, these people, all these people, they want to live in a voluntary society. You Voluntarist. See, you already do, because you're voluntarily acting as a person. Well, what is straw man? But my question for that, Clint, is say I was born without my social security number, without my birth certificate, and this was simply the name that my parents referred to me as, that my friends and family referred to me as. Is that still within the same confines? No, I mean So what what's so what the is word, the line the word, there? The word from, per son, first of all, you take it apart. You're acting per the sun. When you look up those words, per means through. You're acting through something else, something that's not you. Right. Sun means literally, mm, you know, it could be the son of your mother and father. You could be the son of the state. Sons of liberty, son of this, son of that. Really what it means is someone that has affected your mental capacity, governed you, okay. brainwashed you into acting a certain way. So you're a son of the state. When you're acting in per son or per the son, that's basically how it works. A lot of people have called me a son of a bitch, but that's a different <laughs> story. Um, Clint, this is just absolutely fascinating, and it's something that I think a lot of people have a hard time at first wrapping their head around. Well, the hard part is that what was hard for me was literally uh, truth is another word I want to cover. Truth, free, freedom, liberty. All these words, they don't mean what people think they do because, and I'll, I'll, I'll ruin it, I'll tell you what free means. Free is, freed men are what you call slaves when they're released from uh, what's called involuntary slavery or involuntary servitude mm -hmm. into the city, basically, into the government. So you're freed... And it's called a franchise. So they, they were slaves from the beginning. They weren't free from the beginning. That's right. So the before they could pass the 14th Amendment, they had to pass the 13th Amendment. What did it say? Do you know? The 13th Amendment referred to the um, making the persons... No, that's the 14th. The 13th said no involuntary servitude and no involuntary slavery shall be permitted. That was the whole so-called so purpose of the Civil War, right? Well, you're right, so-called. But it doesn't say anything about voluntary servitude. Uh, voluntary. And so then you have the 14th Amendment. I'll be a slave. Right. And that creates what's called the citizenship. Ah, oh, the, sh mm, the, the ship. ship. You see, yeah, the if, ship. You're, if you're one of the people, you're just a, a private citizen. But if you're, aye, aye, Captain. if you're a public entity, if you're acting in the name, uh -huh. then you have to have a vessel. Vessels all over the Bible. You have to have a vessel to sail on the sea of commerce. Right? Because we're all under admiralty law out here. We're all foreigners in our states. This is getting into another topic. But the people are the landholders. They are, if you read the Constitution, it says, we the people, well, who are the people? It says, ourselves, which means the signers, right. and our posterity, which is their bloodline. Blood, right. uh, posterity means genealogy. So, all of us, uh, the birth certificate is the process, the birthing process. Uh, delivery means abandon or forsake. You are literally turned into an infant of unknown parentage. That's the, the official term. You're a foundling. You're born in a district, which means t distraint or distress. That's what Washington, D.C., the District of Columbia is. Or criminals. So we're all uh, domiciled in Washington, D.C. We're acting as in an agency, as, as, as basically a third party in the states. Now, this is getting way, way off, off topic. But the point is, the Constitution has nothing to do with us. We're in, an, in a totally separate government, totally, totally... Has they're totally totally day, right? The people created the government. The government created the people. The people are persons down here in the, in the agency. The real people, the capitalized people, a specific noun or name of a certain group of people, a bloodline. Those are the real people. They are the landholders of the United States, and I didn't know this till just recently. So interesting. The, the puffies are hearing real people up yeah. there. It sounds like. Uh, Clint, 
People can check out, if they missed the Free Your Mind Conference, your lecture at freeyourmindconference.com for at least a couple months afterwards. If they want to support the conference and watch your video and wrap their head fully around these amazing concepts, go to freeyourmindconference.com. Clint, it's great to meet you in person, buddy. I know, right? We, we've been friends for a while, but never that, that handshake. I right? wasn't expecting no hair. Oh, I know. It's disappointing everyone. All right, folks. Check out Clint's talk, freeyourmindconference.com.